coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pam, man. I appreciate the love. Boom, 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 boom. Appreciate the support. 33, man. 33 years of prison stories, man. We out here. We out here, man. Spreading the message, man. Pumping that good, positive energy. We pushing P. Positivity. Let's go, let's go on the road to 100K, man. We're going to get there. I ain't tripping, I ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. You know, love everybody that's on TBP Nation, man. Everybody who's been tapping into the morning mud, big love. Everybody who came into the Zoom, big love. If you missed it, shame on you. Don't miss that boat. <laughs> Don't miss that boat, man. Big Cruise Fred, big, big Cruise Fred setting up that TBP tour. Uh, cruise, man, for uh, the 20, 2024, we going out there, man, to the Bahamas, man, you know, don't meet me there, beat me there, man, so y'all make sure y'all check in, tap in with that, get that information, man, from Fred Folson, man, you know, aka Big Cruise, man, and we gonna, we gonna, we gonna make this thing the first annual TBP cruise, hopefully it'll be, uh, you know, something that we, you know, Lock into man and do every year, man, so we can congregate and celebrate. You know, um, pushing this positive energy out there. I told y'all, man, this is a movement, not a moment, but a movement, man. So y'all tap in with him, man, and y'all see about you know getting on this cruise, man. We go out here on this water, man, and have some good time, man. Oh, uh, man, today, man, I think I wanted to do this video about a couple of weeks ago, man, and I've been doing so many videos now, I don't even know if I talked about it with y'all or. If I did the video or not, man, but <laughs> I, I might have did it in my mind, you know. But anyway, man, it just made me, uh, this dude crossed my mind, man. It made me want to talk about it, man. But I'm going to tell y'all, as I've told y'all before, man, one of the worst things, the worst things of the many things that can happen to you in prison, man, is to get old in prison, man. To get old in prison, especially if you was thugging. If you've been in there a long time and you was thugging and you get old, Man, they gon' man, it's gonna be rough for you, man. Administration, uh, the convicts, inmates, man, they gonna turn on you, man, because when you had the power, you know, when you had the juice, when you had your health, you know, and um, yeah, you, yeah, it's gonna turn on you, man. It's it's, it's a bad deal, man. That's why I'm I'm praying for dudes like Bo to get out, man. Dudes like uh, uh Spook Dust and all the other old soldiers that's still in there thugging, man. Because prison is definitely not a place for young people or old people. And I feel it ain't a place for no people, you know. But um, especially not young people and old people, man. Because it ain't no love in there, man. It ain't no mercy. It's none. It's zero, man. I'm telling you. No place on the planet like that, man. There's no love, man. They don't nobody care nothing about you, you know. And they step right over your body, man, and keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Believe that. So, um... I was thinking about old boy Fingers, man. Old man Fingers, man. Old man Fingers was, uh, man, he was, uh, he, he was a wild one, man. Crazy. He was crazy as all outdoors, man. <laughs> he was crazy as all outdoors, man. But he had no business, in my opinion, being in prison. Now, I don't know what his case was. I don't know why he was locked up. But when I first met Fingers, man, you know, you know, I, I, I jive like took a liking to him, man, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I just I just, you know, got that type of uh, you know, affection for older people, man. And even though I know Fingers had a lot of he had a lot of bull jive with him, man, but you know, he was old, man. Fingers had to be in his seventies, man. He had to be in his seventies and they got this man up in prison. And like I said, I don't know what his case was or whatnot. Things I heard about him I can't confirm or deny. I heard, man, you know what I'm saying, he used to be in the service, you know, he get, uh, he get what you call them, them, um, pension checks, and, and you know what I'm saying, he get retirement checks, he already, you know, worked all his life, so he had a little money on the street, and I heard people on the street used to be using them, man, you know what I'm saying, because he liked them, he liked the women, he liked the women, so he got the tricking with them women out there for that money, they used to get that money, and then I heard he got the tricking with the women, and one of the ladies got him smoking, you know, crack. So he had a little crack addiction. So he's smoking crack, messing with the women. And then eventually that's where all of his 
money was going to, all his pension checks or whatnot, retirement checks, he go, you know, get the girls and get high and, you know what I'm saying, tell all his money gone and then they see him next month when he gets some more money. This is what dudes were saying that knew him on the street. A lot of people knew him on the street, you know what I'm saying? And, um, man, he had a, a crazy, crazy way that he talked that he just was... I don't know if y'all know these type of people. I feel like everybody in the world have met these type of people. They're always laughing, man. They talking and laughing. They Everything they say, they laughing. You know what I'm saying? It's got this giggle with them, and that's how Fingers was. And he an older dude. You know what I'm saying? And he had a deeper voice. So, and he, listen, he always begging. <laughs> he always begging. I'm telling you, he always begging. He go... Fingers would literally go to every single cell in the block. Starting from the bottom and go all the way around and go all the way up top. Every day. Sometimes multiple times a day. And ask for something. You know what I'm saying? And ask. And he'd be like. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me get a cigarette. <laughs> let me get a cigarette. Oh, 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 oh. You give him a cigarette. <laughs> let, me, let me get a soup. <laughs> let me get a soup. A soup, a soda or something. Yeah. <laughs> every day. Every day. And that's how he comes in here. Knock on your door. <laughs> hey, 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 man. What's that? Let, me, <laughs> let me get something. Let me, let me get something, man. Give me something. <laughs> what, what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? I used to give him something. I ain't going to lie to you. I give him something every day. But I tell him once a day. I said, that's it, fingers. I might give him a, 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 a soup, you know what I'm saying, and a soda or something. I said, that's all I got, fingers. I ain't got nothing else. <laughs> you show? <laughs> give me a cigarette. Give me, I ain't got fingers. I don't smoke. I ain't got no cigarette. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And he'll keep it pushing. Bop, bop, bop. Right to the next door. Asking the next man. He'll go all the way around. Now, mind you, like I say, this prison. You know what I'm saying? So some dudes is vicious. You know what I'm saying? They don't care nothing about how old he is or nothing. They cuss him out. You know what I'm saying? They mush him, grab him in his face, push him. Man, people done knock fingers down. Man, that don't used to make me mad. I ain't going to lie to you, man. They done knock fingers down, man. And, and he, ain't, he ain't scared. You know what I'm saying? He got that old man don't care, you know, with me to jump up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this man, you better go out and knock you out, man. You better get your, get your old, you know, away from me. Fingers like, <laughs> yeah, hi, hi, yeah, yeah. And he'll be like that, you know what I'm saying? So, some dudes will want to hurt him, you know what I'm saying? They'll want to hurt him, and it takes about to intervene, man. Come on, man, that's an old man, man. Man, you, he better stay away from my dope. He in the penitentiary. I don't care nothing about him being old. Get, get away from my dope. You know what I'm saying? So it, it'll be that type of thing. And he'll know some of them dudes too. He'll recognize and then he'll go to their say like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> you know, and he won't go to their door no more. You know what I'm saying? But uh, if you give him something, oh, he coming back every day. <laughs> he coming back every day. Now he was in the cell with a young dude named D. And um, that was kind of weird too. Because D, D, man, Fingers was in the first cell. Cell number one. So it's right by the ice machine, it's right by the door, it's right by the booth, right? Now he in there with D, and D worked for the laundry. So D is like, I don't know, man. D was kind of, he kind of weird himself, you know what I'm saying? But D used to, you know, use fingers to bit off of him. He laughing at him, joking with him, and fingers was still getting his little money in too, you know what I'm saying? He'd get his little money in from his pensions and stuff, they put it on his books. So he'll get that money, but he'll run through it, and then dudes was using them. All of, I gave you this, I gave you that, I gave you coffee, give me my... And Fingers just be getting all this stuff out, and then he ain't got nothing left. And then he doing the same thing, he going around asking for stuff. You know what I'm saying? And dudes found out that he liked to get high, and then them dudes that get that crack, they get the crack in. They want to run to him first, and man, you owe me getting them crack, and then they want to, you know what I'm saying? They want to take all this money, man. It just was, it, it, it was a sad situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to use fingers. You know what I'm saying? Because he get that little money and he get a couple of hundred dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? And um, they they was using them, man. You know what I'm saying? And D, D he was doing the same thing. And then they get in there and they want to use fingers like a, 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 a 
the, the butt of the joke. They want to laugh and stuff because, like I say, he not going to back down. So, dudes are joking and saying, man, fingers will beat you up. And they say, man, oh, yeah, right. And D just a uh, strony little dude himself. He don't weigh no more about a buck forty. You know what I'm saying? So, they got him in there. He going there just grab fingers and they wrestling and fingers strong. He got that old man strength. He's 70 something years old. Well, he got he got that old man strength. So they in there wrestling and stuff. Dudes sitting there looking at that like it's entertainment, man. You know what I'm saying? This man 70 something be falling and hurt himself and get hurt real bad then that's on you. You know what I'm saying? If he had a heart attack and he died, that's on you. But they playing and wrestling and with him and stuff, man. So it, it man, it was weird, man. I'm telling you, this is how prison is. Prison is just weird. It's crazy, man. But like I said, it's no place for an old person. Fingers should have been somewhere in a either mental health institution or either old folks home, man, for whatever he did. It, it, you know what I'm saying? He should that's where he should have been. Prison won't it for him. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, he won't do nothing but get used. He didn't know how to survive in prison. He ain't know nothing about prison. All he doing is running around begging dudes, ain't trying to hurt that. You know what I'm saying? And then he was crazy about them women, man. You know what I'm saying? He was <laughs> he was old. <laughs> but he was a freaky old dude, man. I'm telling you, man. Fingers would get there when a woman pop up on the scene. He gone. He right there. He up on her. And what he'll do... He'll go sit down and watch her, or he'll just stand up and watch her, depending on where she at. If she talking to somebody, she making a round, or especially if she go sit at a table in the block. You know, all most of them, they lazy anyway. They don't want to make them go sit down at the table and act like they watching the block for about 10, 20, 30 minutes, however long they stay in there, and then just walk on out because they don't really want to do nothing. Always somebody going to go sit down and try to talk to them. But fingers will go sit down somewhere and get to watching them. And he'll be in a position where he can see them. And he'll just be in there. Y'all can't see my leg, but he'll be opening and closing his legs. <laughs> he'll be opening and closing his legs like this. And he's just rubbing himself. And he just be rubbing himself. And sometimes he'll put his hand in his pocket. And fingers will be over there, man. Get an erection, man. <laughs> Just be looking at the bra, rubbing on it. And soon as she look at it, he'll be like this. <laughs> so the women used to be seeing him, right? See his little thing poking up and everything. And they be like, I told you, fingers, I'm telling you, you better go on. He be like, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. Man, this Joe used to be crazy, man. But he loved them women, man. He, he, he'll follow behind him. He'll look at him. And he'll just get the rubbing on himself and playing with himself right there looking at him, man. He used to make him be so uncomfortable, right? But he couldn't stop doing it. And he would stop doing it. You know what I'm saying? That's what he do. You know? So, the Joe used to be crazy. So, so uh, D used to be putting them up two or two. He'll tell them, like, look, look, fingers, that she go. She like you too, fingers. She like you too. He's like, eh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. She, eh, she, eh, she nice too. She nice. Yeah, she nice. You know, and he'd just be doing that, man. it just make him look so perverted. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? He was the classic example of a dirty old man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all fingers wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? And he was nasty, though, man. Because he was, oh, I got to say that too. He was nasty, man. I mean, not like, that type of nasty. He was freak nasty, but he was nasty too, man. Fingers ain't he old, man. He ain't like take a shower. You know what I'm saying? He ain't like to get in that shower. D them used to always tell him get in the shower every now and then. They'll force him to go get in there. He might jump in that joint about once a week. But this was the nasty thing about him, man. Fingers would have to use that bathroom. He had a bad bladder. He had a bad bladder because I guess because he old. So a lot of times he had to use the bathroom. He'd be doing the same thing too, shaking. And then we'd be on them them uh like cell break stuff and they don't want to open the door and stuff man fingers a fingers a, a, a pee on himself man here <laughs> here he, 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 I, I gotta go <laughs> i gotta go man <laughs> open the door I gotta, and they'll be like you gotta hold up you gotta hold <laughs> i can't i can't i can't and he'll pee on himself you know what i'm saying and then be walking around with a big piece stand on him until he could go in the cell. Then when he go in the cell, he ain't do but take the pants off and put pull another pair of state pants on. He ain't change his drawers. He ain't, he ain't do nothing. Of that. So D used to be mad because he be in there, he be smelling and stuff. Then if the doors open, being that they don't open them but certain times, if the door open and they're gonna leave them open for 10 minutes, then they're gonna close them. They leave them closed for an hour. So fingers are running that joint. And while the door, 
Man, he'll just plop his pants down and sit on the toilet, man, and take a dump, man. Why the whole block can see him. He'll sell one. Everybody can see him. And they be like, man, fingers close that door, man. Put a curtain up or something. He be like, <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. And he and he taking a dump right there. Everybody looking right at him. You know what I'm saying? People walk by, they looking at him. And the craziest part about it, man, I know it's nasty, but it's true, man. And the craziest part about it, man, as soon as fingers finish, man, fingers will just stand up, pull his pants up, man. That man ain't wipe his butt or nothing, man. <laughs> he ain't wipe his he, he ain't wipe his butt or nothing, man. So he had an older about him, man. You know what I'm saying? But he old, though. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, this prison, man, dudes don't care. They ain't got no empathy. They ain't got no sympathy. You know what I'm saying? I had empathy and sympathy, man. I, I know the man old, man. I know he nasty. I know he, he stinking and everything. I know he be begging. Man, old oh, man, the man's somebody granddaddy, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know, but dudes in there, they ain't trying to hurt that man. They like, man, F fingers, man. Yeah, man, them dudes like F fingers, man. Them dudes hard, man. They hard on the brother, man. I'm telling you, man. Prison is, is just hard, man. And dudes ain't care nothing about them, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, some dudes ain't like them at all. You know what I'm saying? I didn't do some smack fingers on the yard. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, push them down. And, you know what I'm saying? For for begging. You know what I'm saying? Or for asking them for something. He likes cigarettes, too. He won't smoke all the time. And at this time... We still had cigarettes, so dudes that he asking for cigarettes all the time. Let <laughs> me roll up, let <laughs> me roll up. <laughs> you know they roll the roll up cigarettes, the bugler. He smoke, you know he smoke all day. He just be smoking. He put one out. He try to find him. No, he like coffee. He ice dude for coffee. Let <laughs> me <laughs> oh, give me a cup of coffee. Let me let me get. <laughs> you know, and, and that's what he do all day. And and it, 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 he wore his welcome out with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Which is understandable, but. It, I don't feel like you got to be vicious to the man, man. You see the man, oh, you know what I'm saying? And then I really ain't like it when you do it to him and you wouldn't do it to another cat. You know what I'm saying? Because you got some begging big old bammers in there too. You ain't you ain't pushing them down. You ain't smacking them. You know what I'm saying? Even if you tell them, nah, you ain't got it. You ain't you ain't doing all that. So why you doing it to fingers? You see what I'm saying? That's the vantage taken. I'm telling you when you get old in there or you young and you green and you puny and you can't fight. Man, dudes, dudes don't care nothing about you. They gon' they gon' savage you, man. They gon' carry you. They gon' talk to you how they wanna talk to you. Put hands on you if they wanna put hands on you. Disrespect you verbally if they wanna disrespect you. And that's how dudes used to do fingers, man. Cussing them out, calling them dirty, stinky, nasty. You know what I'm saying? But yet D keep them in the room. Why D keep them in the room? Cause D eating off of them every time you get the commissary. D eating this stuff. You see what I'm saying? So, like I say, it, it, it's just a double-edged sword, man. It's cutting on all, all sides, man. You know? So, one thing about Fingers, though. He might have been crazy. He might have been dirty. He might have been nasty. But I'm going to tell you one thing about it. He might have been, oh, I, and, and looking back on it now, he might have had dementia. You know what I'm saying? Because now that I'm out on the street and I see people, I see people online, older people, they nasty, they cuss, I would go crazy. Because he'll snap sometimes, too. Get the hollering and screaming and all of that type of stuff. And they go in and out. And it, the fingers might have had that. It just wasn't diagnosed. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't know exactly what the definition of it was. But when I see people online, I see a lot of similarities in the way that they acted versus the way, you know what I'm saying, fingers used to be acting. But I can tell you this. One thing about him, as freak as he was, as much as he loved them women and, 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 and all the things that they say about him, he won't crazy crazy. He was crazy, but not Dumb. He knew the difference. <laughs> he knew the difference between a woman and them boys. I can tell you that. <laughs> Cause they used to, they had, they had some, they had some flaming ones in there, and they used to try to sick them on fingers. And some of them was really trying to get on fingers because they looking at fingers when he rubbing on himself, saying, hmm. "You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you this real talk." So. D dudes like D them, they used to joke fingers. Like I say, they try to use them as the butt of a joke. So they'd be like, yeah, go, go, go say something to fingers. Go say something to fingers. Because they'll catch fingers over there rubbing on itself, looking at the women. And then one of the boys would go over there and say, you want me to take care of that for you, fingers? And fingers say, <laughs> you, better get, you, better get, you better get away from me. You better get on. I'll I, I bust your head. I'll bust your head. And then they joking with me like, fingers, that's a girl too, man. Fingers say, <laughs> God dang, gonna lie. <laughs> that ain't no girl. That ain't no girl. You know, it's, just, it's kind of funny, but it's not. 
Because he knew. He knew. He, he ain't that crazy. You know what I'm saying? They sitting up there acting all, you know, like they acting, acting like a woman. Tell me, I ain't no woman fingers. I ain't no woman. Fingers say, no, 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 no. Nah. And fingers say, you, 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 hey, you got one of them things in your leg, too. No. Yeah. Fingers knew that. He, he knew that. Yeah. You lay flat and believe that. He knew that. And they try to walk up on them like they playing and stuff. Come here, Fang. Come here. You better hop up. Hop up. Hop up. Hop up. You got the on head. You better go ahead. Hop up your head. <laughs> you, he ain't like him. You know what I'm saying? He's 70 some years old. He, he ain't like him. He did not like them boys. He did not like him. It, he don't want to talk to him. He don't want, you can't, they can't say nothing to him when they go, hey, Fang. <laughs> and he can get to cussing. You know what I'm saying? Help you. Help you get on with me. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> yeah, he don't, he don't play that. <laughs> Fingers don't play that. You know what I'm saying? So he won't crazy, crazy. You know what I'm saying? But things like that, man. And then, you know, dude, he used to ask for a haircut, man. You know, he grew, he grew beard, you know what I'm saying? Hair be not in everything. And I'm the barber. You know what I'm saying? So I got to cut his hair. You know what I'm saying? And and dudes used to be, man, you yeah, man, I ain't getting in that chair, man. I ain't getting in that chair, man. You got fingers all in the chair. I said, man, I'm on my mind. I'll wipe the chair out, man. Come on in, man. I got to cut the man hair, man. You want a haircut? You know what I'm saying? They ain't want me to cut the man hair. You know what I'm saying? But ain't nobody telling me what to do. I'm going to cut the man hair. You know what I'm saying? And... I had him in the chair one time, though, man. I'm telling you, he do. He got an odor with him. It ain't no question, but you know what I'm saying? But truth be told, there's a lot of jokers get in the chair got an odor with him. You know what I'm saying? Not just fingers. A lot of, you know, mange and all this stuff on him. I'm rounding you up, man. I'm cutting in the mange. Come on, man. Don't act like it's just fingers. You know what I'm saying? But being that he old, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't just him. But he was in that joint one day, man, and I seen it. He kept rocking fingers. Stay still, man. Stay still. You rocking it. Rock. I got to pee. I got to pee. I said, man, fingers, I'm almost finished. Hold on, hold on. I, I got to pee. I said, oh, yeah, still, man. I'm almost finished. So I'm trying to finish him up, and he just rock, Man, and I knew it, man. As soon as he stopped rocking, he just... <laughs> uh, I said, man, I know you ain't peed on yourself, man. I know fingers you ain't done peed on you say <laughs> happy man happy I said man I finished his joke man take the smog off man fingers done peed in the chair man he done peed in the I said come on fingers man come on man come on man get him get on go ahead man go on up out here man <laughs> I had to go man I had to be I, I couldn't hold it man I couldn't hold it you know so I had to go get disinfect go get all this clean up all the jokes man dudes man man they cussing fingers Fingers out and everything, man. But you know what I'm saying? What you gonna do, man? The man old, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't that ruthless. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that ruthless. I'm gonna try to beat up an old man and all that. I ain't that ruthless. You don't get no points like that, man. You know what I'm saying? But dudes, like I say, that's how they do, man. They look for an angle to carry him. If they gave him anything, you know what I'm saying? Before, which almost everybody in there, they gave him something once or another. If you gave him anything, then as soon as they see him with something, as soon as he come back from the commissary, he got all these bags and stuff because he get money. And everybody, man, give me this, give me that, give me, he ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? He'll go to the store before he come back, before he can get in this cell, decent, whatever. D ain't done took out the bag for himself. Then everybody else coming to ask him for stuff. And he getting it right back. So in essence, for real, when he walk around asking for stuff, he ain't asking for no more than what he willing to give. If he had it, he'll give it out. He'll give it all out. He'll go to the store the same day and don't have nothing that night and be asking people for stuff. And he'll come back with multiple bags, you know, full of food. But everybody else will go savage and stuff. So, you know, that was my philosophy is, <coughs> excuse me, how you going to get stuff from him and then get mad when he asks you for something? You know he going to bag. He all a dude, man. He ain't, he, that's what he going to do. You know what I'm saying? That's his whole mock. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, you know, to me, man, fair exchange ain't no robbery, man. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, I know for a fact. I know for a fact, man. I gave I gave that joker uh, uh, probably a soup and a soda or a soup, soda, and a honey bun every day, man, for like months and months. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he know when he came to my city, he won't get something. Every now and then I play with I'm like, fingers, I ain't got the date, man. I ain't got the date, but <laughs> you got it. He trying to look all in the same. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You know, and I, I'm going to give him something. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, it won't make or break me, man. You know what I'm saying? Then like I say, I had sympathy for the old dude, man. 
And it was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? But they, they advantage take you, man. And that's the bottom line. You know, that's what I want dudes to know, especially these young dudes watching this. Hopefully, if you're older, you ain't got no plans on or ever going to prison. <coughs> Get up out me, flu. You know, you ain't got no plans on ever going to prison, man. But, man, I'm telling you, man, you, you, you need to understand that joint is ruthless in there, man. I'm telling you, it's vicious. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, every man for itself is dog eat dog. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, an older dude like 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 uh, fingers, man, and even older dude, man, they don't care nothing about that, man. And even if you older and you, they'll take your stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They'll take it. You know what I'm saying? Literally, they will go and come in there and take your stuff, TV, everything. You know what I'm saying? And, and dare you to tell it. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's, it's just no love, man. There's no love, man. And, man, uh, I thought about fingers, man, um, a while back, man. It was about, about a year or two ago. I talked to somebody, man, and um, I, I think I was talking to somebody who was on the camp, who was on with Fingers was there, and I asked about, and man, they told me, man, sad news, man, hurt my heart, man, they said Fingers had got out, and um, I don't know if it's true, and I hope it ain't, but this is what I was told, that he had got out, man, and um, somebody had beat him up and robbed him, man, beat him to death, man, killed old man Fingers, man, trying to take, take his money, you know what I'm saying, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying, that's how... You know, ruthless people is even out here in the real world. Is 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 uh also in prison. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I I was told that this was done on the street. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was crazy, man. You know, and everybody knew fingers, man. Everybody on the compound knew him. He when he go out on the yard, he's the same way. He just walk around the yard all day, asking people for stuff and smoke smoking cigarettes, man, and, and walking around laughing and joking, man. This just talking to people, man, and people would stop and talk to him and try to get a laugh or something out of him, and, or you know, try to do their what they call bid, bidding off of him, do their bit off of him because he's so entertaining and he's so funny, and they just laugh at him or either they try to call one of the boys over to mess with him just so they can see fingers snap out, you know what I'm saying, cause he snap out when they come around, I'm gone, <laughs> I'm gone, they don't call him, they don't call him over here, <laughs> he don't like it, you know what I'm saying, that's just him, you know what I'm saying, so dudes got a kick out of that, because everybody in prison so bored, you looking for entertainment, and that's what they doing, same thing that they doing out here right now, you know, you see them go all online messing with the homeless people, that, you know, just to get a view or to get some looks or something like that, it's sad when you really look at it, it's a sad situation, you know what I'm saying, but in prison, it's, it's, it's no different. It's the same thing, man. You know, everybody is is out for themselves, man. And ain't nobody got no love for the next man, man. You know what I'm saying? But the problem with that is when you start living like that and you start acting like that, man, you know, that's how you're going to be. You, you're you not going to be able to turn it off. That's how your heart going to be. But then you got to ask yourself, how do you expect somebody to have sympathy or empathy for you if you ain't got it for nobody else? You know what I'm saying? That's the way I look at it, man. I believe it's a time to be ruthless. I believe it's a time to be vicious. I believe it's a time to be, you know, I even, you know, me personally, I believe it's a time to be uh, merciless, you know, because there's some people that deserve it, you know what I'm saying? But with an older person or a person that's young and green and, and don't know nothing, nah, I don't agree with that. I ain't, that ain't, nah, you know, it's, it's, it's enough deserving people out here for, for a ruthlessness. <laughs> it's enough deserving ones then to try to, you know, pick and choose older people or weak people or young people is enough of them to deserve it, man, not to try to impose that on them. That's just my philosophy anyway, man. But, you know, R.I.P. Fingers, man. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to Fingers, man. And, um, you know, like I said, I ain't never had nothing against him, man. I understood, man, that he was going through something. And I understood the situation that he was in. And I just ain't think prison was a place for somebody like him. But, like I said, the system don't care. It do not care, you know what I'm saying? They they could have even isolated him and put him in a, a older block or put him in a mental health block or something. They had fingers on population, man, with killers and drug dealers and rapists and murderers and it, I mean it, it's just crazy to me. They is is that's it. And the same thing will happen to the youngest. You come in there 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You don't know nothing about prison. They're going to drop you right in here with all these cats. And you have to deal with them one way or another. And it, it, that's it. Ain't no mama and no daddy, no protection, no I can't do this now. That's where you're at. And that's what's going on in there every day. 24-7, 365. Yeah. Weeks, months, years, decades. 
That's what it is. It's prison. You know what I'm saying? So be mindful of that when you're moving around out here in this free world, man. That this world is waiting for you if you want to, uh, you know, participate. But anyway, man, y'all let me know what you think in the comments, man. Talk to me, man. I talk back. Like I said, man. You know, it's a blessing in every lesson, man. It's hard to find a blessing in this lesson, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, the way they did him, man, I think was uh, unfair the way they did him in prison, the way they did him out on the street, man. You know what I'm saying? So the blessing is, man, I guess, man, that you, you, you know, if, if, if you got any sympathy in your heart, man, or if you do anything, I think the blessing is if you do anything wrong, man, or you don't have no sympathy in your heart for other people or no empathy in your heart for other people, I believe the blessing is the blessing of karma, man. It's going to come back to you. It may not come back to you today, tomorrow, next week, next year. It's going to come back to you, man. So if you do people like that, man, they, you know, this helpless when you're doing good or whatever and then some type of, of crazy stuff happens to you, don't ask yourself why. And don't ask yourself why me. And think back to the people that you treated like fingers and you will know the answer. You know what I'm saying? So the blessing is karma. You know, it's real. But, um, you know, y'all talk to me in the comments. I talk back, man. Y'all be safe out there. Be smart. Make good decisions, man. I see y'all in 24 hours. Let you really rock with me. I see y'all in the morning mud. Bam, 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 boom. And duck them hooks, man. Have some empathy and sympathy, man. You want somebody to have it for you. Thank you special. Yeah, pure delicious. Pure delicious. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.